crossroad? Why crossroad? Where did that come from? Is there a... My partner Steve came up with the name. It's an old blues reference. And he's really into music. Uh, but for me, crossroads means a place where vegetarians, non-vegetarians can meet and cross paths and share a meal together. And come to you. So, vegan restaurant means completely no dairy, no eggs, no fish, no shellfish, no meat, of course. Yep. And there, there is some cheese looking like ingredients on the menu. So how do you make that cheese? The cheese is made from almond milk in a facility up in Hayward, up north. And it's cultured almond milk, and some of it is aged. And, and you'll be interested in this. The aging rooms were built in France and were shipped over. It's 29,000 square feet. Shipped over from, from France. France? Yeah. And it's all traditional cheese making equipment. Half of the staff on board is French. So, you. There's some ingredients that you're using, you know, with some sauces and spices. So they're just, you know, they're just regular ingredients like the, um, the uh, garbanzo beans. Yeah. But, but, but those some are different. Like this is, those are crab cakes, and then you have to make the meat of that crab cake. So how do you make that up? We take hearts of palm from Hawaii and we braise them in kalu seaweed. And the seaweed gives it a seafood flavor. And then we pulse them in a food processor and it looks like lump crab meat. And then we season it like you would a crab cake with Old Bay seasoning and a little bit of nori dust, which is seaweed. And then you really get a taste of the ocean. So it's more than just vegetable that you put together. You create some ingredient with those vegetables, like also with the chicken marsala. Yeah. How did you do the... the it's, it's a blend of proteins. Wheat protein, soy protein, it's also got grains like quinoa and amaranth. And desserts also, right? Yep, no dairy, uh, no So it's no dairy, but there's ice cream. So how do you make the ice cream? We use three different kinds of milk. There's coconut milk, sometimes there's almond milk. Our pastry chef changes the milk depending on the texture that she's looking for. And then the reason why you have this vegan restaurant is because you yourself is vegan, you're vegan, right? Yes, 14 years. Why? Um, it just seemed like the next step for me. I went to, um, through a progression, I was vegetarian first, and then my father was lactose intolerant, so he stopped eating dairy, and I stopped eating dairy, and I felt that. Well, that's why. And then is there one dish that you've created that I didn't get tonight that is, is a complete creation of you came up with something that you put together to do that dish? What, 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 what is it? I think you had most of the really interesting dishes and sort of the signature dishes that we're known for. One of the dishes I didn't put out was the kale salad because everybody makes a kale salad. What's special about the kale Caesar here is the way we cut the kale. The kale is very hearty, so we roll it and we do a chiffonade, a very thin cut, and people really enjoy that salad. And it looks like, so, you know, you're having fun recreating ingredients that look, or dishes that look Classics. like... Classics, yeah. You know, like those crab cakes, and in the Swedish salad we had you came over, you brought me the salad, and you said it looks, it tastes like bacon on the when you bite it, but it's not bacon, yeah. right? So what, what did you use to do? The we, we take shiitake mushrooms, we smoke them, and then we hit them with a bit of maple syrup, and then we slowly bake them in the oven until they're crispy. So basically, you have to completely reinvent the ingredient you're using to That's make right. that cuisine, right? Yeah. It's not like something you can get on the shelf from the market yeah. or from the. Butcher from I'm any glad you picked her up on that because it's very time consuming. That's if we want to add cream, for instance, the cauliflower bisque that you add the soup, we can't just open a carton of cream and put it in there. We have to make the cream. And that's a two day process. We take raw cashews, we soak them in filtered water until they're soft, and then we spin them in a high speed blender and we make our own cashew cream. So same was the uh, pasta that we had. Yeah, the pasta has no eggs, yep. We have a great pasta program. We hand roll pasta every day, pappardelle, tortelloni, So what are you putting in of eggs? We use double zero and semolina flour, and then a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil, a pinch of salt, and we have a really beautiful pasta program. So when I leave your restaurant, I'm healthy, right? Yeah, you will have had zero cholesterol tonight. And then, what do I drink? 
with your new meal because you know it's supposed to be a healthy restaurant. Yeah. So what's going on with the wine program, drink up program? I think it's supposed to be a tasty restaurant first. Health is second. So we have a great bar here, amazing wine program. Uh, wines ranging, you know, from forty dollars to two thousand um, dollars. There's something for everyone here. Same with the cocktail program. It's really high-end tequilas. Great mixologist Jeremy who works for us. Um, it's a fun place. Or I can let go on as long as you right? Yeah. Well, now we're going to watch what we had for dinner, and thank you so much, thank Chef. Thank you so much and then, for uh, being here. And I'm yep. glad uh, you know you were here. And then you also have other restaurants, so we can find your absolutely bigger yeah life, touch. life kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you.